Hey y'all, so today I'm going to show you how to make that makeup pouch. It's like a flat makeup pouch and it's really cool for keeping all your makeup confined or anything that you have confined and it kind of draws strings together. So the way we're going to create this project is we're going to start with a magic circle and I will link in the video how to do a magic circle if you're not able to follow along here. I used a size um, 6 millimeter crochet hook for this project and a bulky actually a super bulky yarn so I would recommend if you want to recreate this project to probably use like a five bulky yarn or even a six but not a super bulky because you'll see that I have to play a little bit with this yarn in order for it to cooperate okay so once you have your magic circle created you're going to do um, a chain of three and the chain of three is going to serve as your first double crochet stitch Okay. So you have that chain of three and then you're going to create seven additional double crochet stitches into the magic circle. So just follow along there. You'll insert your crochet hook. You will pull up a loop. Just pull through. Okay. You'll have three loops on your crochet hook. Pull through the top two and then you'll yarn over and pull through the bottom two. So like I said before, this is a super bulky yarn. Um, it, it does create the project fine. You just have to play with it a little bit. So if I were to recommend a yarn, I would either use a slightly larger crochet hook, maybe a seven or eight if you're gonna use a super bulky, or just use a, uh, a like a five bulk yarn, okay? And guys, so I tried to make this tutorial a little bit longer so that you could work on camera a little bit longer with me. However, I can't do the whole project on camera. It would just really be too long. I think this video ended up being like 25 minutes or something. So I will try to put um, some... I guess minute markers in the description box below to kind of move you through the project if you're really comfortable already making everything but if for my newer crochet you know are my newer crocheters or people that are following me that are, are beginners I'm trying to stay on camera just a little bit longer so you can kind of get the gist of what I'm doing okay okay so just go ahead and continue making your um, double crochet stitches you'll need a total of eight into the magic circle okay and then as you're working you see the magic circle it seems big but the cool thing about it and the reason why you call it a magic circle is you're able to cinch everything together and then it, it becomes really small and tight so um, you'll work into the circle leaving it as big as you need to and then you will be able to cinch everything together where you pretty much don't see anything but like a little bitty hole and that's really what we're looking for I opted for this bulky yarn because I like that A, it works up really quickly for the project, but B, everything really, um, all the holes are really tight together. So because I'm storing makeup and things in this bag, I don't want anything kind of falling through, makeup brushes and things of that nature. Once you have your A, you'll go ahead and you will stitch up your, not stitch up, but you'll pull tight your circle using that tail end. And you see how that looks? And then you just kind of want to shape it to that, make sure that it looks like a circle. Okay, and then once you've finished that, you're going to slip stitch into that top part of the chain three, which is going to combine your circle, which is going to create a complete circle. So you're basically joining your beginning end and your end together for a complete circle. Then you're going to chain three, and this is going to start round two. Okay, so we'll do this through the entire project where we'll combine, we will um, slip stitch our circle together, and then we will chain three for our next round. So for this round, we're going to do, um, we're going to increase by two all the way around. So we're going to do a double crochet stitch in every stitch all the way around so that we have a total of 
16. So our first round we had eight, this round we're gonna have 16. So you're gonna do a double crochet stitch all the way around. You're gonna do two double crochet stitches all the way around, okay? Into each stitch. And I will um, tell you the first stitch and the second stitch are the hardest to find. And I, I think that's just by nature of the way that I crochet. Um, so just don't get frustrated in that part of it. Just go ahead and try to, you know, stretch the yarn a little bit and see if you can find that um, stitch and then do two double crochet stitches into that stitch. And you'll do that all the way around for a total of 16. Okay, there's two right there. So right now we have a total of six, two, four, and six, and we're gonna just keep going. Okay. There you go. Okay, so I'm trying to stay on camera a little bit here, but here's another section if you're already comfortable with doing two double crochet stitches all the way around for a total of 16, you can probably fast forward and I will try, like I say, I'll try to put annotations or um, little key markers in the description box below so that you'll know where to skip to. <laughs> so just keep watching here. I'm gonna try to stay on camera a little bit longer um, so that you guys can see. So you see how that's starting to shape up into, looks like a little fan. But by the time you finish, you will have a complete circle. And guys, this is really good practice. If you can get used to working into the round, then you'll be able to do so many more crochet projects. And so I initially started off by just doing simple stitches and then I tried to introduce more um, complex stitches to the channel, okay? So I hope you can see this. I'm just kind of um, sealing that circle a little bit tighter. See how you can't see through the middle any longer? I'm just using that tail to um, seal everything together. And at the end, we'll slip stitch that all together, tie a knot so it won't come apart. Okay, so we're coming to the end here. You see how that's looking? See, there's that chain three. So you're going to slip stitch into that top chain. So first let's go ahead and count. Make sure we have 16, two, four, six, okay? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then there's your 16th stitch. So you know you're ready to go ahead and get to move to round three. So before we can do that, we're gonna do just like we did before. We're going to um, slip stitch into that top stitch of that chain three. You're just gonna yarn over and pull through, pull through your crochet hook between both stitches. Yeah, this yarn, fun. <laughs> okay, and now that we have it combined, joined, we're going to start round three. We're gonna do round three, just like we did round two. You're gonna do a chain of three, which serves as your first double crochet stitch. And then we're going to insert the crochet hook right kind of in that same area to create two double crochet stitches in the same stitch, okay? And this time for round three, we're gonna do the same as we did for round two. We're gonna do two double crochet stitches in every stitch all the way around for a total of 32 stitches. So just like we did before, we're gonna do two double crochet stitches. Yarn over, insert your crochet hook, pull through, yarn, um, pull through two, yarn over and pull through the bottom two. I'll slow it down just a little bit so you can get that. Pull through, yarn over, pull through the top two. You'll have two left on your hook, yarn over, pull through the bottom two. And that's how you create your double crochet stitch. Okay, so just keep working until you get back to the beginning um, and you should have 32 stitches, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. This is what it should be shaping up to look like. And here I'm just showing you, if you tug your yarn just a little bit, if you just pull the circle a little bit, you can see the holes a lot easier, especially if you're working with a bulky yarn. So that's what I was just showing you, how you can kind of see your stitches. This is what you should look like. It looks like a little coaster, which is perfect. And now we are going to, excuse me, um, we're gonna get ready to start on our next round. So I'm just showing you here that your chain three, we're gonna insert the crochet hook towards the top of that chain three in order to combine our rows or combine our rounds. Okay, so we've done that. This part, we've done this already two times, three times. So chain three, and then now we're gonna work on round four. Now round four is going to be a little bit different, so let's pay attention here. You're gonna go ahead and insert your crochet hook just like you did before to create a double crochet stitch in um, two double crochet stitches in the, in the same chain, okay? Then you're gonna do one double crochet stitch, okay? So before we were doing two and two, this time you're gonna do two double crochet stitches in one hole, and then one double crochet stitch. Then in the next stitch, you're gonna do two double crochet stitches. So we're doing a gradual increase in this round four. Okay, so we're gonna do two in that hole. We just did one, and now we're doing another one in the same exact hole, okay? Next stitch, we're gonna just do one double crochet stitch. And then the next stitch, we're gonna do two double crochet stitches. So you see here we have an actual different pattern. So now we're doing two double crochet stitches, one double crochet stitch, two double crochet stitch, one double crochet stitch. So this is round four, okay guys? And the gradual increase in our rounds is important because we don't want our work to gather up and become like a little I look a little sponge or a little circle. We want it to stay flat and in order for us to keep it flat You have to do these gradual increases, okay? See so That's what that's looking like One and then you have your two then you have your one and then you have your two you see And just keep working that all the way around. I'm gonna show you here. That's what it looks like when you finish round four. So to do round five, you're gonna do just like we did with round two, three, and four. You're gonna slip stitch the round together. Okay. And then you're gonna chain three, and then you're gonna start round five. Now, just like with round four, we're gonna do a little bit more of an increase. So you're gonna go ahead and put your um, double crochet stitch right there next to the chain of three, so that way you'll have two double crochet stitches in or around the same stitch, okay? Then you're gonna do one double crochet stitch in the next stitch. Then you're gonna do another one double crochet stitch in the next stitch. So you have two double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, okay? So this is round five. And we're doing another gradual increase. Now that you have two, you know, you have, you done one double crochet, one double crochet. Now for this next stitch, you're gonna do two double crochet stitches in the same stitch. Okay. And because we're using double crochet stitches and we're, we're sealing off the rounds as we go around, you don't necessarily have to use a stitch marker, okay? So I know usually when you see someone working around, they have a stitch marker. Because we're using such a high stitch, a double crochet stitch, you can see as you're working around and you don't necessarily need a stitch marker, okay? You'll be able to see exactly where you, where you started. So when you come to your end, you'll know where to join. When we start working other projects where we're doing like a shorter stitch, like a single crochet stitch or a half double crochet stitch, we would probably need a stitch marker just so that you can see on camera and you can see where you started your round, okay? 
So there we are. And you're gonna continue that pattern all the way around for round five. Okay, guys? Alrighty, so just keep working and then I'll come back when I'm done with this round. All right, let me just show you real quick what it looks like. Do you see there? Okay, and just keep working all the way around. And now we're getting ready to start round uh, seven. <laughs> so just join your round like we've been doing or slip stitching and I'm just showing you how to do that here okay and then you're gonna chain three. Oh, did I say round seven I meant round six guys I put it on the screen round six okay so for round six we're going to do what we're gonna do another increase and to do this increase, we're going to do a double crochet at the beginning, just like we did before. Then we're going to find the next stitch and we're going to do one double crochet. The following stitch, another double crochet. The third stitch, another double crochet. Okay, so we've done our two. Now we're doing our one double crochet. Next stitch. We're going to do a single double crochet into that stitch. Okay. And then in the following one, we're going to also do one double crochet. Alrighty. And that stitch there, we're going to do two double crochet stitches in the same stitch. Okay. So that's the pattern for round six. You're gonna do two double crochets at the very beginning, then you're gonna do three single double crochets, like in each stitch, then you're gonna do a double crochet stitch. So I hope that makes sense. We're just doing another gradual increase to this project. And what makes this customizable is if you do not want to do a really large pouch, then you just don't keep increasing. You just get it to the size that you want and then you stop increasing. So see what I'm showing you there? There's your double and then you have three singles. And then just continue doing that all the way around for round six. So we did an increase in round three, round four, round five, around six okay so just keep working all the way around and then we're gonna see one two three four five six and on our seventh round we're going to do a color change so let me show you how to do that color change So let me show you how to do a color change. We are going to insert our crochet hook just like we've done before to combine our round. And then instead of using our the same yarn we've been using, we're gonna drape over our new yarn. So you're gonna put that yarn underneath the crochet hook and then you're gonna pull it through both of the loops on your chain. And now you can just keep moving, okay? At the end, I tie all my strings together. So I wouldn't tie, I don't make anything permanent until the very end of my project, just in case I need to go back in and change something. So you're gonna do a chain of three, just like we've done before. Now for this time, because we're done with our increase round, we're just gonna do one double crochet stitch all the way around the project, okay? So there's no more increasing. If you wanted your bag to be a little bit bigger, then you might want to do another round of increase. But this is the perfect size for what we need for this project. So we're going to just do uh, double crochet stitches in every stitch all the way around. And I don't remember, you guys, how many stitches. I want to say... It was 64 stitches, but Lord, I, lo I lost count. 
I lost count when I was doing it. So here we go. We're counting our rounds. We're at our seventh round. I'm gonna do two more rounds in that pink color. So I'll have a total of nine rounds once I'm finished with the pink. So I'm just showing you here how to go to the the next row, but you've done this already. You've done this a ton of times. I'm just showing you one more time. So for round eight and round nine, which are good, I'm gonna use pink, just do the same thing. You're gonna do a double crochet stitch and every stitch all the way around. So I'm not gonna do that part on camera just because I think you can catch on what we're doing here. And if you didn't wanna do a, a color change, you don't have to, you can keep the same color, okay? Okay, so here we are. We're at the part where we've done a total of nine rounds. We did six in the gray color, three in the pink color, and I'm gonna do another color change. Now I'm doing this last color change for my, for my round 10 just because I like the way it looks. It, you didn't, you don't have to do that, okay? So don't think that this project, it could be as, as difficult or as easy as you want it to do. You do not have to use all these different colors, okay? So here I am, I'm just showing you again how to do um, the, the um, adding of the yarn. Wherever you add the yarn, you wanna make sure that you do a chain for your first double crochet stitch. So in this case, I did a chain of two because I'd already done one loop. And then I'm gonna do a double crochet stitch in every stitch all the way around. Okay, so really um, round seven, eight, nine, and 10 are all the same. I just did a color change, okay? All right, I guess in rounds, seven, eight, and nine, they're all the same. Okay, so this is what your project looks like. Looks good, right? It's really cool. So you have your bottom part. I use the gray, the sides, which is really what will be cinched up around your makeup, is in pink, and then I did another gray to the top. Now, now we need to make our area for our drawstring. Because we've used a bulky yarn, this step is necessary, okay? If not, I would just say just put the yarn in there and pull it, but we, we do have to complete this step because the, the yarn is bulky and you want the bag to cinch together. So I did another color change. I'm going to chain three, and then just, just listen to what I'm doing. I'm going to insert, okay, I chain three, and then I'm going to skip a space, like skip a stitch, and in the next stitch I'm going to do a half double crochet stitch, okay? Uh, this kind of, I hope this isn't confusing. So you're gonna chain one, skip a space, and then do a half double crochet stitch. Chain one, skip a space, and then do a half double crochet stitch. You're gonna do that all the way around. That makes sense. I hope it makes sense, guys. So you did that. You're gonna chain one, and then you're gonna skip a stitch, and then do a half double crochet stitch. What we're trying to do is create like a little gap in between each stitch for our cord to run through. Okay, so if you don't get this part, rewind it and just make sure you understand, um, but you can see it there, what I'm trying to create. Okay, once you have that done all the way around, we're going to finish off our project. And we'll be done with that part of the project. Okay, so to finish off your project, you're just going to do a slip stitch just like we've been doing the entire project to join the round. And then we're going to cut our yarn and we're going to pull through to get a knot. And then after you've done that, everything's secure, you're gonna go ahead and tie all of those little yarn pieces together and weave everything together. That's important, okay? So you wanna make sure everything's secure. I flipped the bag inside out. So all of those yarn pieces that were on the outside are now on the inside of the bag and I've tied everything off and I've weaved everything together. Now to create the drawstring, you're just going to do a chain stitch and I'll put a, a link in the video on how to do a chain stitch, but you're just gonna do a chain stitch so that you have a thicker cord and then you're going to weave that cord into the hole. So I'll show you how to do that here. I'll slow it down just in a second, guys. 
So you're just gonna go in and out and in and out. And then that's pretty much it. Your bag is complete, yay! See what it looks like? So all your makeup can lay in the bag. You can see everything that you need. It's not all jumbled up. Cause oftentimes, you know, when you have your zipper bag, everything's kind of piled in there and you can't see to the bottom, but this is a perfect way to lay everything out. You can see everything in front of you. It's something that you created and you know, it's just a really cool little bag. It's also cool for like traveling. If you have like your kids toys, you can put everything in there and then everything kind of just cinches together. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I try to put out videos at least weekly. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.